Hello guys, this is Lincoln, and today we will be discussing Daeva von Mermoth, the first epic hero you get early on uh, if you're a free-to-play player. It's a nuker and a vampire with some really neat abilities that I will show how you should use to perfection. Uh, before we start, I want to talk about the, her first ability, the Pursuer of Perfection, that gives her a decrease of blood crystals by 33%. This is the one you're supposed to use in here. So things get cheaper. It's actually better than this one. Uh, but what makes her really strong uh, is if you can find a way to fix a, a squad, a team, where she can actually be positioned like this. And it's not always easy. Uh, this might look really weird to some, having both a healer and a mage in the front, or a nuker. Uh, you usually have your tank and your melee in front. I usually do the opposite. Uh, Dr. Wolfgang, I have already discussed before, he can tank really good since he self-heal himself. But Daeva, the reason you want her to be in the center position is really simple. Her skill, her ability will actually one-shot three heroes if she's strong enough. Uh, and if she has energy at start, she will actually take them down at once. So this is what you want. You want this position, you want her here, and then you need to find a way to make her... Uh, being able to survive with this position and the uh, idea to do this is to have either one or two tanks in front together with her or Dr. Wolfgang that's a that's a tank and then you have a second healer and Voss does a really good um, uh, thing with her uh, lifesteal ability that will help Daeva and then also Orlin the beast will um, give even more lifesteal abilities. So uh, I'm going to show you how this will work, but you need to have Daeva in the center. And if you can have her in that position with a good team, she is insanely strong. And basically, you, I, I, I passed uh, the entire catacomb without losing like, I didn't lose any, any heroes and almost no health by having this composition. So Dave is going to shoot her skill now, ability, boom, and all three dead. And I'm a free to play player. I don't have that strong uh, items. We can look at that uh, other afterwards, but she is not that strong, but she's strong enough to actually one shot almost everything. And even if she doesn't one shot them, uh, she will take down so much damage uh, in the start that it actually will make the catacombs a walk in the park. Let's see again. Uh, is now she has a lot of energy as well at start. That's even better. Then it will be even easier. And here comes the first shot of one, two. Now, boom, boom, and one died, and a lot of health down on the rest. So. This is a way of doing this, giving you an idea. You don't have to have your nukers in the back. This is a strong way to do the catacombs and other, other challenges as well, if you have her in the center. Uh, so that about that. I will uh, actually do a couple more fights for you to see it's actually, actually sustainable, having her like this at the... Uh, Throne room level 17. The items I get here are level 90 right now. Let's see. Throne room level 17. The item challenge is uh, level 90. It's the items I get and that gives you an idea of how difficult the heroes are. I <laughs> mentioned earlier that uh, the catacombs actually depends on the uh, throne room level, but it's not that simple. It actually bases as well on uh, uh, on your total power or your um, amount of uh, strongest heroes. Because when I had 300k uh, in power, I still had only level 70 
hero uh, items that I could get, so it was a lot easier. And once I reached like 325k, then I started to get the level 90 items. So they decided when you reach a specific uh, power that's above 300k, or it could be also uh, depending on maybe your uh, strongest five heroes. I had heroes between 70 and level 80 when uh, the switch paid. And then I still had uh, throne room level 16 when when uh, the change made. Uh, but so it's the it switch made because I had higher power. Anyway, let's uh, let's check her items as well before I forget. So stats, nothing in particular. Um, she has some boots with attack power. Ring with attack power and a crit chance amulet, and that's about it. Nothing in particular, actually. Nothing really good. Uh, nothing special, anyways. But she's five star and she's level 80, and um, that's more than enough to do the level uh, 90 gear throne rooms. So let's do one more. Dive in the center. If the center opponent dies before she does her skill, like now, it won't be as efficient since now she has to, she won't. Uh, hit three opponents at the same time she will actually hit the one in the left so then it will actually be weaker so having a team like this where you don't have too many other heroes that do a lot of dps can actually be good like i have a tank and two healers uh, if you have too much uh, other heroes that do a lot of damage you, they will take down that center hero opponent and then she can't use her skill to the fullest so you see I haven't lost almost any health and now we're doing the second second boss half and bar should be enough to make her using her skill before their tank drops here it comes boom and Dr. Wolfgang died at the same time so it's quite nice and you can see the other team members handling this without too much problem and they have actually the only one that's uh, quite strong the other ones are not that strong um, my my boss uh, I'm actually going to talk about Voss in a, another video, but um, you can see that she's only level 58. Uh, but you don't need more since it's this skill you want, giving everyone uh, vampire, vampiric abilities for a few seconds. And she could actually be level 1 and do, this, do it just about the same effect. Uh, the percentage actually probably a bit lower, but she will still you get the idea, she's still good. Uh, you want her a bit higher up in level to get some more better stats and survivability, but this is the skill you want, and it um, won't get a much stronger one. You, once you level her up, it doesn't matter actually. It's only the star up that can actually improve stuff here. And my other heroes are um, between level 71 and level 80 now then. But this catacombs are still a walk in the park. Let's see where are the healing fountains. There's two. So let's go here. Might as well finish this now that we started the catacombs to show you how Daeva is doing, working her magic. Now the center he, uh, opponent died. That's when you're in the weakest shape. 
but it's still good. No problem having Daeva as a tank. <laughs> Let's do a, a little harder encounter just to see how this goes. And also we have a fountain after this one, so if something bad would happen, this is the time to re revive or heal. Here comes the skill, boom. Three opponents lost, ha lost half their health, and now it's almost gone after the second hit. And now there's only two opponents left. It goes fast. You don't want the opponents to live for a long time. You want them down fast. And this is what Deva, boom, does. Full health in these catacombs. Now I actually don't need that pool, so let's get some boost instead. And we have uh, two werewolves, so let's go werewolves. Here comes her shot, boom, see if she will hit the second one, yeah, he dropped as well, she killed two, and full health. And since all of these heroes you can actually farm in the catacombs, all the fragments, this, this is not legendary heroes, so this is actually a good setup that actually works in uh, many cases. And Vampire, yes. And as you can see, I, I basically don't lose any health. If you don't get unlucky, of course that could happen. That's good, everyone full health for the boss, the boss encounter. Get this chest. Nothing good, okay, let's go. So the entire team I'm using, you can farm the fragments in the catacombs, and it's a solid team. She took down in the, in the boss encounter two almost at once. As there's only three opponents left, then of, then it will be no problem finishing this. So, <clears throat> good job, good job, Daeva. What do we get? Okay. So this will be a, a Daeva video with a mix of catacombs. Um, in the next video, I will discuss Voss.